Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to get started with our load and save system. So it's going to require us to write a couple of lines of code in a few different places. Let me close these to the left here. And then let's close this. I'm going to open up this header file. We need the game instance open. This is where we're going to handle the loading and saving. And then inside of our modular character folder, I'm going to add a new folder. Call this save game. And inside of the save game, I'm going to create an Unreal class. I'm going to call this my modular character save game. And then I want this to derive from the save game class. So basically what, what we're going to do is save a reference to our character body part slot. And then we're going to then use that body part slot in our system because the way that our system works is that we send an array of body part slots to our cosmetics pawn component and that then grabs all the loaded assets that we need and then take to converts those assets to meshes ultimately. So I'm gonna make this public. Let's make a U property as blueprints or say it's edit anywhere blueprint read write modular character and let's make a T array of F character body part slots. And this is going to be our saved body part slots. Okay. So with that, we have most of what we need. Now we need to have a load and save function that are both blueprint callable and accessible. So public let's make U function. Let's make this puppy blueprint callable category. Let's actually put this in a category of modular character. That way we know what it's for. And this is going to be a void save game. And I want to call this something more particular. So let's say save character part slots and then take in a T array of F character body part slots. And this is the slots to save and we'll pass this by reference. And then we also need a blueprint callable function that will load our slots. And I want to make this blueprint pure because it's going to return something. So let's say void load saved character part slots. This won't take in anything. This needs to return. I'm sorry. This needs to return that save game object we made. So you modular and let's say class you modular save. What, what did I call this? You modular character save game. There we go. And this will return the save game object for us. So let's go ahead and create these functions. Saving is pretty straightforward. We just take in this T array and then for each of these add to our existing T array inside of our save game instance. So we need to check if a U modular save game pointer. This is our local save is equal to a cast to a U modular save game system using the U gameplay statics save or actually we want to create a save game object and here we need to pass it the T subclass of a save game class. So you can just pass it a static class of this type that we are actually trying to get. So you modular character save game static class. And if this creates the type that we want it to, we want to actually take this object and save some data to it or store some data on it. So we'll call local save and we want to do this over the iteration of these slots to save. So I'll say for each slots to save yeah, for each slot in that slot to save, we want to say local slate local save dot saved slots dot add Mm, that's going to get a little bad, mainly because we, we're going to end up saving multiple slots. So like say we got two heads or say we do a head, we save one and then we come back later on and we do another, we change it to another head. It'll save both of those inside of the actual array here because we're adding to the array. So now what I'm thinking we should do is instead of changing or making this an array. Let's make this a T map. And this T map is going to hold an E body 
parse slot as a key. And I, I don't even want to do that. I'm a because that's going to lock us in. I'm gonna do a F gameplay tag as a key, and then the the um, the value is going to be a an array of structs here. And these will be our save body part slots here. Actually, I'm noticing that this doesn't need to save a T array. It just needs to save a map of slots. And we'll be able to use that. So here, for each of these slots that we pass in, we want to see if this local save contains anything inside of that slot. And realistically, with T maps, if you tell it to save a slot in a certain value, like if you tell it to save a value in a certain slot key, it'll replace whatever value is in that key. So when we say add here, we want to take this slot dot part type name tag and then we want to save the slot to that name tag and this will basically take this character body slot and make sure that it's uh, kind of organized by types so you remember we had the head type the leg type the torso type and the arms type so we'll have those four types saved with their spe with their specific slot that's supposed to be in there or the body part slot. So this will this will kind of organize this save object for us. And then we need to go ahead and call the once that's done, we need to go ahead and call you gameplay statics save game to slot. This needs to take in a save game object. So we want to give it our local set our local local save object. It also needs to take in an F string. So what we're going to do is declare a static F string at the top of this class. So let's make a const static F string. And I uh, put that wrong. F string set this as our save game string. And we want to set this equal to modular character save game. And then now we now we can use this uh, static F string it all throughout the save system so we'll call this our modular character save string what do we call this jesus christ or save game string <laughs> holy moly i forgot it that fast use our save game string and then uh, slot zero should be fine or the user index uh, so this will save the game for us and once we set up the system to actually uh, call this function here we'll be able to see this in our actual files so we'll take a look at that in a little bit and then this load save character part slot this is a pretty straightforward as well basically we just want to check if this type this u modular character save game pointer and we'll call this loaded game or loaded slots and if this is equal to our u gameplay statics so let's cast to this type u modular character save game and we need that you gameplay statics load game from slot and let's give it our slot name which is our save game string and slot zero for the user index so if, if this returns uh, this cast returns this type here we'll just return the loaded slots whoops And else we'll just return a null pointer here. So this will pretty much handle our loading and saving. And this is pretty much what a load and save system is. You take the save game object and then you write to it and then you save that object. And this will say this will save it locally in your saved folder. You'll you'll see it when we get to that point. And then once you load it, it'll reach into that slot and get this object that we saved and return it to us so then we'd, we, we'd be able to pull data from that save game object so in the next video we're going to go about tying this system to the rest of the entire system as a whole and making this thing load and save our selections and also plugging in our character instead of the character that is currently spawned inside the editor right now. So if you guys are ready for that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.